So we can also use an in 6-3 using a calculator to solve. I mean, obviously we can't solve all of the equations that we have by hand. So an example of this is using um, kind of these inverse sign functions on your calculator and then um, and then thinking about what's happening on the unit circle. So for example, I have this sine theta is equal to 0 0.4. Okay. And um, so really, this is a pretty easy solution. Theta is sine inverse of 0 0.4. And I will just make sure my calculator is in the mode, I think it is, in radians, so I'll put sine inverse of 0.4 and I get theta is equal to 0 0.411 radians which should be somewhere knowing the domain and range of this sine inverse should be somewhere around in here. So this is my theta is equal to 0 0.411. Okay, and that kind of makes sense where sine is positive going up like that, right? Now this is related to another, I mean I want to find all the angles in, let's say the direction say find all solutions in this interval 0 to 2 pi. So I also have this other angle over here where my sign will be positive. Um, and that should be a solution as well. Now here is this angle and these should be the same, right? But that doesn't give me the full angle what it is from here to here. Um, now to find that, that is I take this pi and subtract this red angle theta. So to find green, to find this green theta, green theta, I take pi and subtract 0 0.411, the measure of that other angle. And so pi minus 0 0.411 gives me a second angle of 2.73. And these are my two solutions um, in 0 to 2 pi of this calculator problem. Okay? Okay. Let's do another problem. Solve or find all solutions in the interval 0 to 2 pi. And I just have the equation cotangent theta is equal to 2. Um, so I, I would like to take um, theta um, is equal to cotan inverse of 2, but I have, I have, I don't have a cotan inverse button on my calculator, right? So I have to use one of the inverse functions that I have readily available to me. So you might think about using possibly the tangent. Tan theta is equal to 1 half because of that inverse relationship. And then you just have to be careful about what different things this might say on the unit circle. So theta is equal to tan inverse of one half. So let's see where that is. Tan inverse of one half and my result will be in radians. So theta is equal to 0 0.46. And so here I am. right here and again tangent is positive like 1 over 2 um, so something like that so there's my 0 
Um, and now I have to think about where also this, so this is where cotangent is 2, right? Um, and so this should be periodic by pi, so I should have another one over here where both my quantities are negative. Does that make sense? So over here I'll have cotangent is actually negative and in here it's negative. But in here it will be um, the right values and I need this length to line up with this length right there and this vertical distance to line up with that vertical distance right there. Um, so this angle is the same here, here. So this is where I get, then I get another theta is equal to pi plus 0 0.46. Let me find out what that is. Okay. Okay, I want to do one more so that you can kind of see where domain and range comes into play here. Let's just change that previous problem a little bit and find where cotangent theta is equal to negative 2. Okay? And if in the same way I find this tan theta is negative 1 half, and I'm looking for solutions in 0 to 2 pi, and I go about theta is equal to tan inverse of negative 1 half, I get theta is equal to negative 0.464 because tangent gives me, or inverse tangent gives me solutions from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, right? So I have something like this and the angle that it's giving me is this one right here. This angle is negative 0.464 but that's also not in 0 to 2 pi, right? Okay, and then the associated angle that I want to get is this one over here, which will also be negative. So this should be the same angle right here. So this one is my, um, is negative 0.464. Um, and so this one should be um, right here, pi minus 0.464 should give me the right quantity to get this one in the second quadrant. So let's do that. So my true solutions, pi minus 0.464. is equal to 2.678 and then over here to get this one it, within 2 pi, this is 2 pi minus 0.464 so my second angle in here is, is 2 pi minus 5.819. Okay? Okay, so, but that's using a calculator. Let me know if you have questions.